I got a comment from one parent in the chat on YouTube and she said you don't give me any activities you are only talking can you give some activities also and I was shocked I was like hey have I not given any activities or maybe I have not compiled them in such a way so that you can find them so I decided to make this video before I go ahead and share all the activities that I've done and what are the activities that you can do at home, I want to tell you one thing. This is all general videos. This is not a video specific to your child. But I'm just giving you a bank of what are the vestibular activities you can do? What are the proprioceptive activities you can do? And you could do it with your child and see if your child is participating. This does not replace what your therapist tells you. This is just an addition. So let's see them. So as I speak right now, I would be putting up the information on the top. There is this episode number 316 where I have given vestibular activities for sensory diet. So if you are thinking of vestibular activities and you want to work on with your child, here it is. Click over here and you get it. Then I have, and I'm referring to my notes because I wouldn't remember all of them. The second is I have another uh, video, which is vestibular activities on Lycra swing. That is episode number 214. That again would click up over here. Over here. So that is something which would have, Lycra has deep pressure. It gives vestibular and it's an amazing way to provide activities. So Lycra activities is what I've put up in episode number 214. That is again some of the vestibular activities that you can do at home. I have another set of activities which are called proprioceptive activities to calm down your child. That is episode number 109. So you could pick up any activity from your and work on with your child. There's another number four. It is there is a video called full body planning activities. So it's more about motor planning and how do you do some planning at home? So that's what the video covers. Then I have episode number 153, which has sensory diet ideas. That is also something that would help you to provide those opportunities to your child. These are all sensory diet activities. This is not sensory integration. This is what you can generally do with your child and it will help you. But for specific, what exactly do you want to do with your child? Your therapist who can evaluate your child can guide you. But this is general so that you have something before you meet a therapist. Given animal walks, which is episode number 139, which has animal walks for proprioceptive activities. So you can do them at home. You can do it outdoors if your child enjoys it. Then there is episode number 154, which also has tactile and proprioceptive activities, which you can do at home. Fun, fun way of doing it at home. So that's something that you can do. Then there is another video which is called Sensory Diet Activities, which is episode number 234. This would also give you ideas. So putting it all into one this video so that you know you have access to everything in one go. Then I have another episode which is 143, which has rope ladder jumps. These are different ways of providing proprioceptive input to your child. After that, I have another video which is called Core and Motor Planning Activities. Those are activities that you can do at home to work on the inner core and work on motor planning, which is episode number 155. So that is another thing that you can refer to. There's another video which is episode number 157 on sensory diet activities at home. So I hope this gives you a lot of activities that you can do at home. While I talk to you and explain things to you, you can keep referring back to this video to check what you want to work upon. And uh, that's sensory diet. I have another video which has tactile activities for sensory diet, which is episode number 317. So if you're looking for tactile activities, that's where you go. Then I have another video which is called sensory diet ideas, which is episode number 304. That is another one which is all activities on sensory diet. Then there is another video which is called fun activities with Lycra Swing. Lycra Swing, as I mentioned, gives you deep pressure. So that's tactile. If you sleep and you're 
doing if you use it like a swing it gives you vestibular if you're moving from one swing to another like a sandwich which i don't have that video but if it's like a sandwich that's proprioceptive so lycra is going to give you a lot of input that i have another video so these are all sensory diet activities if you've done these activities with your child your child is sitting your child is your child is moving and you've provided all this opportunity it's always best remember to provide these opportunities outdoors going out and playing in large open spaces is more important so once you've done the vestibular and proprioceptive and movement activities i have a video which is called this visual perception it's episode number 174 this talks about how to work on visual perception how to work on matching and sorting so you know what to do when you're doing a sitting task with your child that is episode number 174 then i have a video which says developing fine motor skills that is episode number 344 that's another video where i work on fine motor skills so i've done vestibular proprioceptive and tactile and sensory diet then i do visual perceptual tasks with my child then i work on fine motor skills and then i work on pre writing or pre academics that is episode number 287 that gives you an idea on how to develop pre writing skills in children so these are some of the activities which i have in the last so many years and i wanted to compile them and give it to you as the year ends today and this is 2022 so i wish you a very 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 happy new year 2023 wishing you a lot of success and developmental gains in your kids as you enter into the new year and this is the activity bank that i've created for 2022 i'll do the same when 2023 comes to an end so you have all of my activity videos in one video i hope this was helpful take care have a great time with your loved ones thank you